Tech News. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos, but uh, my schedule has recently loosened up a little bit. So I'm going to hopefully start making these videos more regularly. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the two biggest news stories of the week. Number one, Apple, March 2nd announced the iPad 2 will be coming out on March 11th. It has all new features, it's thinner, faster, better. There are a lot of really cool things about it that are different than the first iPad. Um, the graphics card is a lot faster, so when you're playing movies or video games with a lot of graphics, the uh, iPad keeps up a little better. It also comes in AT&T and Verizon 3G. Another really cool thing is that the pricing hasn't changed. So all the pricing for the original iPad would be the exact same thing for the iPad 2. Um, but there are a lot of cool little features, just a lot of really small details and things that have gone into the iPad 2 that kind of make it stand out from all the other tablet PCs that are out there. Now the second thing about this story is that Apple announced the new version of iOS iOS 4.3 kind of uh, enhances the performance of things like Safari, iTunes home sharing between your iPad and like your iTunes on your computer or your Apple TV out in your living room. It has that. Um, there are certain AirPlay improvements that kind of just make it the experience of AirPlay a little bit more seamless. And if you don't know what AirPlay is, just go ahead and click on any of the things on the list. Um, I'll put up a list next to me. Um, you can click on any of those things to get uh, a, more of an in-depth kind of description of what these different things are. They also have a fast mute button on the side that can also be programmed as a rotation lock. You can kind of just decide what you want it to be. So that way when you're going to be reading a book and lying over on your side or something, it, the screen doesn't flip on you. You can lock it into place or you can have a quick mute. Um, not sure why you would need a quick mute, but it's there. One of the other big things about the iPad 2 is that it's going to have smart covers, which is basically just a magnetic cover over the top. A cool thing about the cover is that when you close it, when you put it on top of your iPad, it automatically puts your iPad to sleep. And when you lift it off, it automatically uh, awakens your iPad. A couple of the other really cool things about the iPad 2 is that it has full iMovie and full GarageBand apps ready to go and they look awesome. You can check out this video um, of like a demo of iMovie for the iPad. And another really cool thing is going to be GarageBand for the iPad. And GarageBand, it, I use GarageBand all the time. When I watch this video on how you can use GarageBand just like you would on your Mac, on your iPad, it, that really made me want an iPad. That's our tech news for the day. Um, we do have a couple more segments, though. Um, we're just going to jump right into the next one. Um, we only have one story for it, but this is going to be called Weird Tech News. The Orbital Garbage Space Cleaning Machine. Here's a picture of it. Uh, basically, the idea is that um, all of the modern societies of the world have been launching space junk into orbit and it's basically caused a ring around our planet of just garbage, of just metal and plastic and junk. Apparently there's a, a group of people called the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency uh, and they are backing a recent proposal for these orbital garbage trucks to be launched into space and they would go around cleaning up all this garbage around our planet. Another really cool thing I want to start doing is video game news. Um, and I wanted to just quickly talk about three um, new video games that are going to be coming out this year. Um, this year's going to be big for video games for me because three of my most favorite games are coming out this year. Gears of War 3, let's start off with that one. They're doing a multiplayer beta right now. So the game was actually supposed to release in 2010. Then they pushed it back to like a March 2011. And um, 
they really didn't have time to do like a multiplayer beta at that point, so they pushed it back again. Um, and now I think it's coming out September 20th of 2011. So now there's this huge window where they can just do multiplayer beta and just work out glitches and and uh, just a lot of stuff that really irritated people about Gears of War 2. Now they can go in and fix all those things in the beta before Gears of War 3 even comes out. Dragon Age 2 is coming out um, in actually a few days. There's actually a demo of it um, on Xbox Live that you can download for free. It's so fun to play Dragon Age 2. The combat system has been completely redone. Um, it, it isn't so much turn style. The Dragon Age 2 thing is just amazing. You can actually go around and you can tap A a hundred times and you know hit your enemy a hundred times if that's what it takes. But you have kind of this third person um, combat system where you can just wield your sword and just hack away at somebody and it's really fun. The third game that I wanted to talk about that's coming out this year is actually going to be The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the next game after Oblivion. The graphics look amazing, it's on a completely new engine. Your combat style is going to be different. You can now uh, wield two weapons. It's just a cool game. That's coming out November 11th of this year. I would recommend any of these three games. If you're going to buy a video game this year, buy one of these three games, two of these three games, or all of these games. These are the games you're going to want to get this year. Um, Gears of War 3, Dragon Age 2, and The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. So, with that being said, that's uh, video game news. Thanks for joining me on uh, IM Tech News, and uh, I'll see you next time.